All right, breaking overnight, fighting for fair wages. Just what staff members are doing this morning outside the Rhode Island School of Design. Teamsters Local 251 holding a strike to protest what it calls RISD's failure to comply with labor laws. Dana Casulo is there right now. You've been there for a couple of hours. Dana, what's the latest? Hey, good morning. Well, leaders from Teamsters say they feel like the college committed unfair labor practices. So that's why these people are out here. They're still out here. They're chanting. They're getting louder. The crowd is growing and they're demanding for fair contract negotiations. The people out here tell us they wanted to send a message to the college and this gives them an opportunity to do that. If things don't change, there's a possibility this could be an open ended strike. Local 251 represents 62 custodians, groundskeepers and movers at RISD. For the last several months, workers have been fighting to secure their first contract at the college and negotiations have recently stalled. The principal officer at Teamsters Local 251 says RISD as a whole has a lot of money but has forgotten about their staff members. And they talk a, a lot of talk about equity and inclusion, but their own staff are left out and uh, we feel that's not fair. They deserve a living wage. They deserve a, a fair contract and good working conditions. And, and the folks here out here are demanding that. RISD released this statement. The union has continued to demand benefits and wage increases that go well beyond what RISD considers fiscally responsible and deviates from RISD's overall compensation philosophy, which seeks to maintain equity across the college. Now, RISD says they do not expect this to affect class today and all resources will still be available. Live in Providence, Dana Casulo, 12 News. Breaking overnight workers at the Rhode Island School of Design walking the picket lines in the early morning hours. Members of the Teamsters Union holding a one day strike to protest that they say is RISD's failure to comply with labor laws. RISD claims the union never responded to the school's latest contract offer. 12 News reporter Dana Casulo spoke with some of those on the picket lines. You can hear them behind her right now. She joins us live in downtown Providence. Dana, what's going on right now? Kate and Patrick, well, these people out here, they say they want to see change happen immediately. They've been out here for about four hours now. They're holding signs, living wages for RISD workers. Some of them are yelling. There's about 15 people out here, and they all want wages to increase. Recently, Local 251 filed unfair labor practice charges against RISD for failing to pay a general wage increase and for changing starting rates for workers without providing them with notice or an opportunity to bargain. For the last several months, workers have been fighting to secure their first contract to the college, and the union says negotiations have recently stalled. Local 251 represents 62 custodians, groundskeepers, and movers at RISD. I spoke with a custodian of 10 years, and she said it's hard for her to survive on her salary. Very, very hard. Same to me, I live by myself, and I have, have to pay all my bills, and... I'm very sick and I always every week I have to go to the lot, the doctors, make uh, the payments I have to do, like $25, $15, is very, very hard. RISD released a statement reading in part, quote, we are committed to bringing this matter to a successful conclusion. For that to happen, union leaders need to negotiate in a meaningful way so that together we can create a, con a contract that fairly compensates our employees for their vital service in a fiscally responsible way. And as of right now, this is just a one day strike and these people will be out here all day long. Live in Providence, Dana Casulo, 12 News.